What do you think about powering? What is the thing in your mind? Is it something like Xena, for example? If you basically are a woman, of course, that I could actually agree with. Thanks to my mom that got me into this when I was really young, because this came out when I was a baby. She's adorable, by the way. I love Xena. Um, I think her name is Lucy Lawless. Um, pardon me for the, um, the way she just used her weapon. I'm not sure what that's called. This, I don't know. This, watching that show growing up, I'm just m mixing up my, my mouth over the place. This is really, really amazing. And I just want to share this really quick because this is supposed to be a marathon. I don't want to get copyright. That's why I had to click away as fast as possible. This will be on all the way until... Wow. Um, dear, oh dear Buddha. Um, 1-5 in the afternoon. So it's gonna be on. Ah, the way she does that! Yeah! The way, I don't know how she does that. That is adorable. I can't handle it. It's gonna be on basically the rest of the night until the afternoon, which is awesome. However, though, that is not the point of this topic, even though it kind of is. Because I've been watching a lot of videos and I decided to wear my Japanese shirt, if you actually can see it. This is supposed to be, I can't say my name in Japanese, unfortunately. My Japanese is really poor, but I just want to say, um, Konnichiwa minara tashira diren. Well, I'm singing it in the Mandarin version. Diren? I can't say it! Crud! But my last name is supposed to be Dazu, if I actually got that right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not singing it correctly. I actually did this out of marker, but it's not easy to design it. Um, because I had to crop out with, like, paper and... You know, doing the outline and then using scissors to actually basically draw it. It's hard to explain it. Um, I forgot the heck I was talking about. Okay, I'm getting off topic because of my stupid ADHD. I basically been watching a few videos about, I don't know, just random topics from like mental health issues, like about like the drug overdose that's been going on here in the States. If you actually have seen the videos of me talking to like a handful of men on here about well, them having their episodes of drug abuse, which is really heartbreaking to look at. Especially, um, well, he didn't do any drugs. That boy named Michael that is still homeless. I still think about him to this day, of course, um, since I last seen him in that video I made. And basically about masculinity, so to speak. And... Actually, can I just change my beanie? I don't like I don't like wearing this beanie right now. Hold on. Side for the thirty feet. Ugh, that's what happens when you walk practically five minutes, five minutes, like at least five miles a day, give or take. Let me just share one more scene. I apologize. I love Zena so damn much. She is adorable. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, thanks a lot, Mom, for getting me into it. Honestly, my mother, she was a tomboy, so she kind of is. And that does not make a loss of a woman. So she gave birth to me, okay? That's that's what a well, woman doesn't need to give birth to be woman. Of course not. But besides that, I was actually watching something about basically um, a topic of why a, a lot of us blacks, even though that I'm... I talked to a lot of people from like Germany or even Finland that likes watching animes that are basically white or light skinned, right? Um, that watch animes. And the reason why I want to bring up that topic is because when you basically are a minority, especially if you're a boy, so to speak, you really feel like you're out of place. And the reason why I have to share this is because as a person that's black, okay, you know, I'm not fully black, if you actually can notice, because I'm not that dark skin, even though the lighting may fool you, plus I've been out in the sun a lot, so I'm gonna get darker. This is not my actual, um, skin color. The, if you actually see my arm, this is my actual skin color. I don't know if you can tell. Like, I'm basically kind of like Asian color, so to speak, which means I'm, if I, if I was in China, I'm sure, or probably, actually, I don't know, I'll probably stick up because of my curly hair, but... Um, when you're, when you basically, well, I wasn't raised in a black neighborhood, but the thing is, is that when you are a black boy, so to speak, okay, I'm using this from my point of view, you're kind of expected from society that you need to be really masculine, I, I, I had to do like a long version of this, you need to be really aggressive, right, having a six pack, listen to a lot of rap, be homophobic, 
saying what's up bro or dude or something like that. I don't even I don't even like those words. Bro, dude, man, homie. I don't like them. I don't use them myself. It's just weird for me. I want to be called Dion or be called Sweetie. I mean, if there are boys out there that basically are a part of the gay community that doesn't mind calling me that. Girls, I don't mind if they call me dude or anything. I like to break down the gender roles here. Um, you know, I, I just like to be disrespected, you know, as a human being. Like, not being uh, pressured to actually act masculine because that's what a lot of people in media, mainly social media, would see us as black men, so to speak. And what you saw in the beginning of Xena, Royal Princess, right? Her name is Lucy Lawless, of course. She's a tall woman, five foot nine, right? Not that tall. Well, I don't know. I can't. I'm not sure what's the average height for a woman. I think it's five five in the U.S., but they say it's five nine for for men, so that would make women five four. I don't know, right? She's just a, a like that, like really tall, but a tall woman because she's much taller than I am. Um, basically, she is an inspiration to a lot of women that like watching Xena because she basically fights against these, like, criminals or whatever. Um, depending on the era that that show takes place, where they may... I don't know. It's hard to explain it. You gotta look up more about Xena because it's... it's. I, I mean, I watched on and off of the series uh, growing up, but the thing is that for Xena, she is with a girl um, that is basically her best friend. Um, Dion, what, Dion, what was her name? I don't remember, crap, Gabrielle, right, who's a shorter girl, even though she's like average height, but she looks really small compared to her. Basically, they just go out fighting these enemies as they actually travel from region to region, so to speak, and how they basically are, you know, this at war with these men, give or take, or women as well. It's, it's hard to explain it, right? I should learn more about this because I don't know much about the background of the series, but the thing is... Xena, she actually expresses that a woman can fight. She doesn't need to be feminine, right, in order to be a woman. And that she actually could be as powerful as men are. And I like that because in the reverse side for us men, I'm not sure, like, what type of, like, TV series that I watch growing up. But the thing is that for us men, we don't need to be masculine, especially if you're basically or into women, if you're straight or bi. You don't need to be masculine. You don't need to have a lot of muscles or whatever, right? Not to wrong with that, of course. That's great. If you basically, you know, wanted to actually bit out your physique. But for basically men like me that are really short, even though we tend to have it easier to put a lot of muscle, looking more masculine because of our short stature, I don't want to go that route. No, thank you. Um... There's nothing wrong with basically seeing like more shy, timid, and you know, just basically sensitive towards girls and whatnot. Because a lot of girls stuff feel like that. I know that by experience, you know, I'm not into girls. So, yeah, that's that's not my thing, you know, having to basically being forced to be masculine. Because these generals, especially when you see like in old movies, like throughout like the 1940s, 1950s, that the men actually tend to you know, be dominant and how the women would actually work, work, would um, cook in a kitchen and basically fall in love with her man that basically had to leave towards town or fighting for his country or whatnot, which women can do as well. A lot of people don't understand that. My mother, she, I think if she could have, well, not really fight in the war, but like in the office, be, it's hard to explain it. She would basically be working like in the office, in the army, whatever she told me, but she did it because my um, older sporter was born. I'm kind of glad because I can't imagine my mother being in, in that. But, um, if I could actually work this better, that's how, like, Western media, basically American media, has been portrayed back then, if I should recall. I'm just doing my best to actually explain this in a better state, right? Because of how, if you raise a boy with this sex, seriously, then you basically have to follow these rules for the rest of your life. Like, for me growing up, I didn't like to wear basically, like, gym shorts or, like, backwards hats or whatever a lot of boys would dress today, right? Because back when I was in high school, a lot of boys would dress that way. We didn't wear uniforms. Thank, thank goodness we haven't. But I didn't like how I had to basically be pressured in order to actually be in a, in a masculine role. Like, 
basically doing a little fist pump or doing like a little quick like pat on the back. You know, it's something like that's really macho kind of because I grew up in, on that um, environment growing up. And not to mention a lot of boys that say no homo or something like that's I might as well just say no hetero of them. It's just, it's just weird. You know, I know it's supposed to be a joke, but ah, like, okay, there's something wrong with being gay. I don't understand that, right? You're just born that way. I don't know why we're born that way. We just are. You know, like, I, I don't want to bother questioning it. Um, because it would just be too, way too stressful for my brain to actually think that way. But the thing is, basically, for me, I actually had a fault in that type of path because, well, since I'm black, of course, you know, this is for all ethnicities of boys. Basically, when you're black, you're kind of expected to actually act that way. You know, especially how a lot of people get this stupid stereotype that if you're black, you're not educated, you would actually rob um, the Sucker K for some stupid reason. You would actually shoot a lot of people when clearly there was an eight to a white boy that basically shot like 10 black men, hard to believe, right? Or that you would actually sag your pants. I see a lot of white boys doing that, by the way. Even Asian boys, okay? Okay, a lot of Mexican boys, so to speak. And we're just seen as threatening. Okay, I don't I don't get why. I think from all those current videos I've watched in the past, those videos are probably like a year or two old. Okay, this is like after... Well, I think maybe it might be like during George Floyd that got killed by the officers. You may not have heard that. He basically done some sexual assault, assault to women, which I definitely don't respect him after he died. Even though I felt awful hearing about what happened to him with the police. You know, this is something that I don't like to see of how a lot of people think that if you're a man, especially you're black, then you're seen as being unsafe to be around. You know, I, I just don't like that because I ain't faced... Racial discrimination myself in the past. I have. And not to mention an incident when I was walking somewhere with that fake female friend, Casey. And she was the mayor friend to start off with. Um, I remember there's like two older like Mexican men. Um, they're probably like middle age, maybe like late thirties or something. That basically asked if I smoked marijuana because I was black. That was inappropriate because that is one stereotype I don't want people to see me by. Because I never done drugs in my life, I never wanted to touch one, so to speak. And not to mention, I hate when people tend to think if you're black, you like grape or watermelon or I don't know where the hell that came from. Like I like orange juice, I like apple juice, so to speak. And you know, I just I, I do like chicken, but I like chicken nuggets if that counts. And I like to eat burritos if that makes sense, right? You know, I just it's amazing how people get. These stupid stereotypes. And not to mention my voice is higher pitch in this. I just don't want to talk too loud. That's why. How much time I got left? Okay, good. I got like nine minutes, give or take. And my voice is at 30%. But, um, you know, being a boy, especially an American boy, I'm sure it's like this in a lot of countries throughout the globe, but mostly like an American thing, even an, an Aussie thing. Um, that you actually had to kind of follow in masculine roles, give or take, in order to like fit in. Man, they don't have so much space just sitting on the scene. Goodness. Yeah, I'm really got short, by the way. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Basically, I just had the shitters for any, any boys that might be watching my videos that you don't need to follow these gender roles. You know, that there's something wrong with having a feminine side. There's something wrong crying either. A lot of us brains need to. This is why we tend to have a high suicide rate. Especially if you basically are raped by women. That can happen. A lot of people don't understand that. That's because we make an erection. It doesn't mean, oh yeah, we want to, you know, bang you or something. I don't, don't get it. Basically, that's just a human, that is a body function that us boys have. You know, it doesn't mean that we want to give consent, especially after that damn incident. I could have gotten kidnapped when I was barely 18, when I, ran, when, I, when I ran away from home. And basically, this 24-year-old man, I was barely the legal age, right? That makes it, well, not because I turned 18, but because of what he did. Of how he would literally 
give me oral sex when I was asleep. Like, I did not give you permission to do so. I could have... I don't know why I didn't. I think because I had a cell phone at the time, so there's something I could do to report him. But for him to actually not only do that, but spreading his... No, forcing me to spread my butt cheeks as he was masturbating to porn. He was bisexual, by the way. He was a black man. Um, he wore glasses. He was kind of chubby, I believe. I don't remember his name, though. That drove a right cruiser that night. Um, I just I just still have that playing in my head. Because, well, I was molested. Or better yet, raped. Because, well, he pressured me to, he pressured me to do oral without my consent. I would consider that rape. Um, it's just really hard because a lot of people don't know that men can easily be vulnerable as women. And that we tend to be lonely more often because of the lack of... I think in support, I suppose, and how we actually had to be a man and figure things out ourselves or basically driving up to the Grand Canyon without any directions when you clearly can just get lost and killed. Oh boy, don't get me started on that one. Um, this is ridiculous. And there's something else that came up in my head, but I forgot what the heck it was. One thing I do like from other boys is basically getting hugs. Right? You know, I'm not much of a hugger, but like, if i known you over time, then I would love to actually have a hug. Even maybe getting picked up from the ground and squeezed to the point you will suffocate me. So there's a lot of strong men out there that can do that for some of my sides. You know, because, I don't know, maybe I didn't have too much of that growing up. Because my mother worked a lot, you know, how my older brothers to take care of me. You know, I don't know. That could be why. I don't know. I, I, I'm guessing because I always got jealous of girls that could receive emotional support for both boys and girls. But since I'm a boy, well, not only am I not really that comfortable with girls anyway, but for boys, I had to like really act straight around them. If that makes sense. Hope you all can actually see me. I apologize. Um, I'm not really good at topics like this. It's just that being a boy can you know, be difficult sometimes because of how I feel like I have to act a certain way. Like online, for example, I remember like, I don't know how I was using that six site, like Omega, for example. I might get disconnected just to talk because the boys on there are straight and they only want to talk to, to girls, which is obvious because they just want to actually have some pics. Girls, I know. But you know, I don't want to be treated differently just because of my sexual orientation. It doesn't mean I want to hit on you. Plus, I do not like sex anyway. That uh, goes the same thing for gay or bi boys. Like, please don't. I don't like that. You know, it's just really difficult. And, you know, it's just, it just takes a lot of courage to actually express your emotions and whatnot. I think that's why I like Deku, for example, because he's a boy that is really sensitive. He cries a lot, right? He's never around Ochigo, which is really cute. And he's also short. He's so tired of me though. I don't want to share my height because that's a secret, but he is um, like much taller than me. So, you know, that's the thing I just want to share. And I just wanted to share this for any boys that have been watching my videos. You know, I've been commenting a lot of videos because I do like to have that validation because my loneliness has been kicking in way too long. Um, I really appreciate it a lot. If you've been enjoying my videos. I apologize if this was a little bit off topic. I'm just trying to say like. You know we need more. Male role models. Or boy role models. To, so to speak. Like for the girls they got Xena. That's one thing. I'm not sure. I'm thinking for us boys. We probably have like Ralph Macchio. Even though that was old school. Oh, he's hot as hell. Oh my. Okay I need to stop. I apologize. He was so. He's so tall too. Uh, sorry, my, my gay sweat is kicking in. But I just have to share this because, you know, it's it's hard enough as it is that you actually gotta hold in your emotions just so that you won't be embarrassed by other boys or getting bullied or being up for it. It's it's ridiculous, right? <sighs> but yeah, um, this is something I just want to share, and also one thing. I'm just afraid that no one's going to watch this. Maybe that's why I don't feel, feel that confident express my um, emotions. My niece's graduation is supposed to be 
Dion, what is it? It's Wednesday morning right now. So basically tomorrow. You know, I still consider it's night time. So the day after tomorrow, which is on a Thursday, um, I really wanted to get some footage and, you know, just basically filming the whole thing. Well, maybe not the whole thing because I could care less about anywhere else. Um, or any other student's graduation because hers, oh, that's right, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be at the stadium. Oh, my goodness, this is going to be so weird. I didn't have a good, let's just say, I, I should share that. I did not have a good flashback when I graduated in high school. It was not that great. It was mediocre at best because, well, none of the students really like to be around me. So, ugh. And these are high school students we're talking about. I don't feel like a dwarf. Not that, that, not that's a bad thing, but it's going to be weird because I'm going to look much younger than I thought. Which is a good thing. Because I'm getting flashbacks. But like, oh man, like, high school over again. Even though and I got physically bullied or anything, thank goodness. Verbally, once or twice, but that's about it. Um, I'm just definitely looking forward for her graduation, even though I might be too nervous to go, I think. I don't know. But I just wanted to share this. For the ones that have been watching my videos that are boys, that you are such sweethearts, and I just hope that with me coming a lot of videos wasn't too much. That's why I don't reply back to any comments. This is my mental health is so corrupted in my brain. I just don't feel like interacting with anyone right now. I don't know. Maybe I I just want to feel loved. If that makes sense. That's all I ask for. I think I did okay, did I? Oh, my feet are filthy. Yeah, I think I did okay. And I'm already out of room. Okay, my glasses keep breaking.